Hello everyone, Don the Crown here. And if you're playing the Diablo 4 PTR, you might be wondering what's the best way to get greater aspect stuff or just ancestral gear, period. Especially because they give us a whole ton of gear here. But if you crack open these legendaries, uh, none of them are pretty much ever gonna be ancestral. Now, even the uniques are bugged right now. And these aren't even gonna be, you know, 750 item power. And so it can kind of seem like there's no real good way to go out and actually get good gear. Uh, and so this is actually not true. So what you can do, and I did this to farm up a whole bunch of good ancestral gear for my main build, is just use the boost vendor. So if you make a brand new character, and you want to use a brand new character because this will delete all of the gear on whatever character you're using. So a brand new character is the best way to do that. You'll start off here in Kilvashad. You're going to walk right over to Merak. You can do apply all boosts. And then warning, the following option will partially overwrite your character. Click to continue. And uh, you know sometimes, and sometimes it closes. You can do full character boost current class. And you'll know it works if you're already full on obols. And obols will fly out and hit the ground. If you're full on gem fragments, those will fly out. And as you can see, all of the gear that was in my inventory is gone now. However, we have a brand new fresh set of ancestral gear on our character. And you'll get an ancestral gear piece for every single slot on your character. So this is a really, really fast way to go and look for ancestrals in like all slots that have good stats for you. Stuff like rings or amulets might take a little bit longer to find stuff. All you have to do is just continuously uh, apply the boost to your character and then take a look see if you see anything that you like and oh I didn't find anything I'm just gonna apply the boost again now sometimes this button won't work but you'll know that it works when the obols fly out if you don't see the obols fly out you did not do the boost correctly or it bugged so sometimes it does take two clicks as you can see you get a whole bunch of stuff and so like I'm looking for rings here I could use a new uh, glove and so I gotta double click and uh, yeah, we just kind of keep doing this over and over. This is definitely the fastest way to get gear because you're gonna be guaranteed to get something for every single slot. And uh, the other option would be to run over to the obols vendor and you know try gambling all of those obols you just got. And uh, yeah, you're not really gonna get a ton of GAs this way, but at least you could potentially. Uh, you know, do a boost between each gamble and this pops out. And as you can see, we just, you know, continuously get more and more gear. It's infinite. You don't really have to worry about flooding the ground all that much, except with obols and eventually uh, the fragments for gems. Uh, our gold is also getting high there. I don't know if that's going to start hitting the ground as well. Well, this is a pretty nice pair of gloves here. Now, if I want to keep this pair of gloves, obviously I can't put it in my inventory because that'll get reset. So what I'll do instead is I'll just put it into my stash. That's pretty important. That's the last important thing I should definitely mention is that you want to make sure that you anything that you want to keep goes in the stash. Anything that's in here, heck, you could have like mythic uniques in here. And uh, those are going to also get deleted if you, you know, don't, you know, put them away. And yes, you do get tons of these. Now, if you're looking for GA uh, mythics, you can actually, I think the best way to do this is to not actually open that box. It seems to just give you like crap ones basically. And so what you're gonna do is go scrap them, go over here to forge equipment and then pick whichever one you're looking for. So let's say for example, that I want a hard oak and crest. I'm just gonna craft up 20 of these and bada bing, bada boom. We can go and look for one and see if we can get one that has uh, multiple GAs or just has cooldown on it. I probably missed one that has cooldown. I'm only looking. Uh, yeah, so there's at least one with cooldown. But, you know, let's say I want to get one that is all, you know, maxed out. I can just continuously keep on crafting them. As you can see, we have you know, quite a lot of materials for this. And uh, I think I, I have a Harlequin Crest on my other character that's maxed out. And here you go. This is a four-star Harlequin Crest and just really easy to get. Hopefully this video helped you out. We'll see you again soon next time. Come by the stream.